All right, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to add end screens and info cards to your videos. All right, so it's really easy. And if you're a small YouTuber, it's going to help you grow your channel tremendously. You'll get more views, more subscribers, and it's just an awesome way to do it. All right, so this is the current version with the standard YouTube studio. I'm not sure when they'll change it next. So if it doesn't work, then they must have updated it. I'll try to keep making new videos on how to do it just so you guys know so anyways all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to your channel main channel screen by clicking up here just clicking your channel it's exact same thing then you're gonna want to click YouTube studio let it load then you're going to click videos then you're going to find the video that you want so I'm going to do this one because as you can see I have an updated way to do it and I want to put the info card and add it at the end of the screen. So you're just going to hover over it, click details, or however it is at the current moment, just go to try to get to this screen. Then you're going to want to come over here and click end screen. Now before I do this, there's another way to do it, which is over here in editor. And it's the exact same way, but it's more precise. So if you want to get it more precise, you can like scroll down to wherever and then click add it which is the exact same thing they used to have the info cards here it was just down here is an extra little bar that you could click but I like doing it from the detail screen just because it's a lot easier so now you just want to click end screen over here and then you can pick any of these that you want now I'm going to pick this one because I think this one looks good and then I'm going to center my channel subscribe button right there so that looks good. So then for the video, now you can have the best video for the viewer where the YouTube algorithm picks a video from your channel that they think it would like, your, that the viewer would like. The most recent upload is your most recently uploaded video. I'm pretty sure it changes to so like this video. If I did this, every time I would upload a video, it would change it to that. But I'm gonna choose a specific video because I want to. So I'm going to click the updated version for it right there. And then over here, I'm going to click on playlist and click this playlist that I want at the end too. Now you can also say that you don't like any of the ways that these are set up. All right, you don't like any of these. So you get to pick three end screen elements. So you can do another video, a playlist, subscribe to you, or a link to another channel. So like if you have a second channel, you could add that, add the subscribe to you, to this current channel, and then a video or playlist. But what I want to do is I want the subscribe. So you can see, you, can change, you can't change the size of these, unfortunately. So I'm going to center that right in the middle there. All right. So I'm not going to show the hover card because that's annoying. All right. Then I'm going to add another element. I'm going to do a video. And see, so you can shrink these down, maybe. Guess not. Not gonna let me. But you should be able to shrink these down. So since it's not gonna let me, I'm just gonna slide it down to the bottom corner here, because I like the way that that one was set up. So I'm just gonna do that. Then you can pick which video you want. I'm gonna do choose a specific and pick any of my videos or any video that there is on YouTube. Add another element. Do a playlist. Choose my playlist right here make that all the way down um i think i want yeah I'll, I'll just leave my subscribe button centered right there and see i've only this is the only video that i've done this for i had and i deleted it so i can show you guys since it's easy and i'm going to go through and add it to all my videos which is what i would do if i was a small well i guess i am a small youtuber but if i was any other small youtuber that didn't know how to do this this is definitely what i'd be doing so then you can come and shrink it down to however long you want that to be up there. So I'm gonna slide it over. Um, and then you can zoom through here. You can zoom in and out to get more precise times, but it's not the end of the world. And see, there is a certain length that you can do it. I think it's like 20 seconds. So I'm actually, let's see, how long, what time is that? 47 seconds yeah okay that's good so right there just like that all right so then you're just going to click save once you have it how you want it and then you can also change the time right there too all right so you don't need to click the save button up there so now for the cars up in the top right like if you want to have that you can click it you just 
right under end screen element you click on it then you click add card All right what's okay, up guys let me pause that because i'm cringy okay so you can pick a video or playlist another channel or a poll all right so i'm going to do a video and see you don't want to have one of these to another video or channel until after 30 seconds all right because in order for you to get a view they have to watch your video for 30 seconds all right so i normally do mine at about 35 or at least that's what i'm going to start doing so right there all right close enough doesn't have to be perfect see if i wanted to get it super precise i could scroll all the way down here and then move it so i could get it even more precise which I guess that's what I'm going to do. So then you can also add another one. You can have five. So if I wanted to have that one there, and then if I want to feature like another video or playlist, another channel, or another poll, I'm going to do another channel, sponsor my brother's channel. Um, let's see. Um, I don't remember what his channel is. Let me go find that out, and I'll uh, bring you guys back when I find it. Alright guys, so I found his channel, so all you do is you just go to the channel, go up into the, whatever you want to call it, the URL, or URL, just do control C, or right click on it, click copy, and then you just go over here, let me delete that, and then you just do either control paste, or right click and paste. Alright, and then you can do a custom message, so I'm going to do that because I already have that saved. And then, so the teaser text is what will pop up when it comes up, all right? And then the custom message is when they click on it, what they will read when they see it. So I'm going to create that. And then I'm going to move it. So which one is this? All right. So these are switched around the wrong way. So I'm going to slide that down. Let me zoom in here so I can get a ride at 35 seconds because I'm OCD sometimes all right and then I'm just gonna randomly drop that right there all right actually I'll do it at one minute of the video to check him out even though I didn't mention him because he didn't have a channel at the time of recording this video maybe I can get it there scroll zoom all the way in here and bam all right nice so as you can see I've got both of them here I guess I could probably just clicked on that and then done it but I didn't so that's all there is to it it'll say all changes saved right up here and that's good and then it'll say once you're finished close the tab you're just gonna close the tab and then you don't gotta click save because it's it'll automatically do it as you can see it's still there so now, it's, it won't show it if you try to watch it from here, but if you click on the link, and I'm going to pause it because I don't like listening to myself, I'm going to zoom in to, or skip to about 35 seconds. Wait, gotta play it. So create new world. And then bam, popped up, 35 seconds. Perfect. Alright, now let's jump to one minute. When it's going to mention my brother's channel. Alright, and I will put a, his link in the description. You should check him out. I know, not the best, but still. Done. Oops. And then, bam, I've one minute popped else. up up there. Alright, so then, if we go all the way down to end screen, I don't know how long we did. I think we did it like 47 seconds. Skip to that. Play. Bam, 40 seconds pops up, so, and it's there. It's the playlist, thanks guys for watching. the I video, see you next time. and the subscribe button. So, it's not there for very long, but, you know, I don't want it to be there for very long. So, yeah, guys, that's how you do it if you've already uploaded the video. Now, I am going to record another video, and then I will show you how to add the end screen and the cards when you're uploading the video while I'm doing it for that video, if that makes any sense. So, I'll bring you guys back when I'm done with that. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It'll be like five seconds for you, but like an hour for me. So, yeah. All right, guys. So I told you that I would show you how to add it after, well, while you're uploading a video. This is the video on how to download Optifine. I will link that up here if you want to check it out. And there is also a Java 
video on how to download Java, I will also link that up here. So now, it took me like three tries to get the end screen elements because of my Wi-Fi being slow and my family being on it. So all you're going to do is click edit and then it'll bring you up to this. You already know how to change all that because I showed you. Actually, I need to change that. Alright, save. Maybe. Okay, there we go. So you know how to do all that. And also, you can edit the time to get a specific time. If you want to like slowly go through your video and find what the best time is for your outro when it starts. Or if you don't want an outro just while you're talking or showing something, it'll start. So there's that. So also now to add cards. I don't really have anywhere in this video that I need to add one. So I will probably just come in here at about 35 seconds like I said. So I also get the view to add a card to the video to the Java to how to download Java just like that. And then we can edit it because I forgot to do that. I'm going to go here and do how to actually I think it might already do that. Let me see here. Yep, so it already does that. So that's good right at 35 seconds. So then it says all changes saved. We're just going to go return to YouTube Studio. As you can see, both of these are good. You can click next. All that's fine. And then we can click publish. And it will upload. And then we can click on the link right here. I am going to mute that because I hate listening to myself. And I'm sure it's confusing for you too. We can go to... We linked it at 35 seconds. We can jump to 34. And bam, there it is. You can click on it. There's the video. And then we can also go all the way down to the very end. I think it was like 48 seconds, I believe, is what I set it to. So we'll go to 4 minutes 47 seconds. And bam, there we go. Perfect timing. You can go click subscribe. Go over here, click on this. Click on this playlist right here and bam easy as money I'm actually going to save that to this right here alrighty I don't know if that will actually do it I'll have to fix that but yeah guys that's how you do the end screens and the cards so I hope this worked for you guys if it didn't I am very sorry and I will try and help you the best that I can. I'm not very smart, but I will try. So, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.